Hey, think of the tax man. Yep. Well, someone's got to make sure everyone's got beer, tobacco, and lottery tickets. Yep. Oh, gosh. You know it. You know when you go to Five Guys and you get those free nuts in the boxes? No. <laughs> no. That's going to be good. Yeah. That's going to be good. Never seen nuts in there. Is there like the, the monkey nuts? Yeah. Right. You, you've never seen them have massive boxes of these sitting in Five Guys? No. Really? Yeah. Okay. All the ones around here, we, we, there's always boxes of, massive boxes of peanuts. Okay. So you can have like a load of them before your meal. Uh, and we've got, we've got some in this little parcel, and I thought, I'll give them a try, and I can tell they haven't been salted. And, oh, they're horrible. When they yeah, been. they're not nice and salted peanuts. No, they're not nice. Well, because they're still in their shell, they won't be salty, mate. Well, see, that's what I thought. But the ones that we you, you get when they're in the, in the cases from Five Guys, they're like they're salted already. They're really tasty. I don't know how. Don't know how. Strange. Sometimes they roast them in the case. Bit, oh, don't, don't say that. Maybe, that, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. The ones from Five Guys. Oh, they're lovely. They're lovely peanuts. <clears throat> yeah, Tim's got nuts. We've got 15 viewers out there, everybody. <sighs> Good evening, Hello, everyone. Hope you're all keeping well. We're on for a couple of hours to keep you entertained for a bit. Eric's there. Graham. David Ball. Joseph Porro. Gary Pashley says, evening all. Evening, folks. Tim's got nuts. I got nuts. Evening, weirdos. I got nuts. He has nuts. I know that. For a second, and I thought John had grown an epic moustache. <laughs> with, with your head right down. Well, oh, it's just shadow, is it? No, you, you put your head down. And you got hair at the bottom. <laughs> Bowl patch. More head. <laughs> and it looks like, you know, the top of the head. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And then the moustache. <laughs> it's you, John. It's you. Shave it off. You'll be fine. Uh, Prime around the evening, guys. Everyone is safe and well. Yes, not bad. Stuffed after dinner, but I'm okay. Uh, Ian Alexander Fife says hello. Hello, Ian. Uh, I don't think hello. We've seen you before, have we? So, everyone watching. Hopefully, everyone's going to be normal tonight. We don't get any weirdos in here. I mean, I'm already here. Yeah, John joined that out there, don't you? Pretty much. You know, all right, Charlie? Yeah, I think so. Just about. Uh, Jeff Light said, uh, Good evening, guys. Everyone is safe and well, indeed. Yep. And Eric says, I think everyone's gone nuts. A few people have, that's for sure. There's a few out there. Especially those three. I'm the only seeing one in the group. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Got to be. That's for sure. Ian says I'll leave now. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Ian. What are you working on, John? Uh, just decided to start doing some pin washing on the T54. Cool. The uh, mini art one. Excellent. Yeah, I got mini art T55 today. My God, that box is heavy. Lovely kits. Yeah, I love the box art on it myself. Love that box art. Yeah. Maybe do yourself a favour and don't open it quite yet. It's all in one bag, so <laughs> I get everything out. I ain't no, it bag. Can, it'll be two or three bags, but it's in one big bag. Yeah. yeah. Are, those, are those tracks clicked together? They look like they are. No, they're, they're glued together. So they're not movable? No. <clears throat> It doesn't mention anything about gluing them in the instruction. Well, unless I change them from the 54 to the 55, but I wouldn't have thought I would. Well, it's got different tracks of this. It's got them OMSH ones, whatever that means. Emma Emma Shed. Emma Shed. Emma Emma Um... I thought they might be. I mean, all the ones I've built have been glued together. Mm. 
Well, well, you just have to get some frills then. Nah. Yeah, because they're open on them, aren't they? Yeah, they look, they look cracking the contractor of frills. I need it for them and the Jag, uh, Jag Panther I've got as well. Oh, yeah. And I've got a 48 scale T55, but there might not be any out for that yet because it's a brand spanking new kit. So which one? 48 Tamiya. Um, Brand new out, and it's only about a couple of months ago. Yeah. Aye. Uh, so, how many people have we got watching? Let's have a look. We got 23 with 11 likes. Hello, everybody. Everyone's keeping well. Mm -hmm. uh, and the chat's gone quiet. Very quiet. It's so, so quiet. Very, very quiet. I'm going to put my camera overhead and do some more pigments, which is as messy as hell. Mm -hmm. I forgot just how messy it is to do. Oh, yeah. Patrick says, even and all. Hello, Patrick. Hello. How do you, Patrick? Yeah, I see it. The snow pigments you want to watch out for. Yeah. You don't want to be covered in them and answering the door. Okay, been doing a couple of lines. <laughs> yeah, especially when it's the police at the door. Ah, uh, Whiskey Tango Frog Trucks there. Hello. Mark Ewing says, I see. Hello, guys. Everyone doing this lockdown? Not bad, mate. Not bad. Eric says, finally got this model mojo back. Thinking about starting this, this weekend on Tamiya's mid 90s Supra. Cool. Oh. And Ash Cross, this says, evening, chaps. Hello. Good evening. I, I, Hello. I just found a company that makes lots of 148 resin tanks. And they pretty much do all of the big Russian stuff. Well, they do the game. They do the Sam launching uh, Russian track, the Ganif. Not me. I think, uh, yeah. no, you're, you're a Ganit. Yeah. I think, uh, John, you built it with the two massive missiles on the top of a, a tank chassis. Uh, no. No, John Stone, I think, built it. Oh, yeah, John Stone did, yeah. 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 They do the self-propelled on a what looks like to be an extended T55 chassis. They do a T55 1958, and they do a T55 Enigma. $79 for it. Huh? Looks really cool, though. I'll say that. Look really... It's just over 50 notes, isn't it? But 60 quid. Yeah, that looks really cool, that. 48 to go Enigma. Yeah, isn't it? Tell me you're the only one that do the Enigma. Yeah. I mean... I'm waiting. This is what I'm waiting for. Is mini art now should really start being able to do all of these um, later variants of all of the T55s. So they've got all of the they've got all the reactive armor version to do, and stuff like the Enigma to do. Really, oh, mini art reactive armor is going to be so fun. Oh yeah, good point. Mango's bad enough. You know, mini art is going to be individual blocks. Oh yeah, with individual legs. Yeah. <laughs> and the, in these cables, oh, they do one forty eight shulker as well. Oh, that's cool. Uh, people are saying, show. "People asking the chat, can you show it, Tim?" Uh oh, can I show? Okay, hang on. <sighs> Two seconds. Let me work that out. So I'll do, I'll do that. Uh, copy that right here. Uh, da -da -da. Okay. Roundy, roundy bit. <laughs> Okay, I go. Uh, there you go. There you go. So it's, a it's a company called Tank Mania. Let's go for English. Tank and Tank Mania. 
Uh, kits, yeah, so they've got the uh, they call it a Ganif, which is that r rocket launching, oh, yeah, that monster monster thing. That's Thanks, quite, boys. That's quite cool. That's uh, still gonna be something like in 48. Yeah, uh, PT 76, the turret that's quite cool. The 2S3, yeah, one then. BCR 50p. Not built uh, one of them. There's there's 55. That, that's pretty pretty much no point producing that one anymore now. As uh, Tamir's yeah coming along and put but brought theirs out. Well, it's quite cool. Is uh yeah T55 in Enigma. It works. There we go. Yeah, not bad looking. Cool. What are we though? What other ones they got, Tim? Um, past that Centurion Mark Three. Uh, mm. Shulker. Yeah. Chocolate looks quite nice. That's quite cool. Um, a game full. The hole looks good. Top looks good. Boom booms look good. Boom booms. Boom booms, isn't it? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> boom booms. Boom booms. <laughs> boom booms. Boom booms. <laughs> boom. Uh, and and it's got a log on the back as well. So oh, it's always need a log on the back. T72. It's quite good. Very well detailed for the size, the size of them. Very nice. Uh, T72 M1. Not sure what the difference is, but it's, there is obviously some difference. Uh, I think it's the gun. So, so the, mach the machine gun on the turret looks a lot bigger. Yeah, it's the, is it the 12 mil on those? 12.7 NSF. Yeah, same as on the T72, but look at it. Right, I bet I can really rip that thing when that starts firing. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Ah, oh, 72 has got the, the, wi the wiring for the fuel tanks, so they still carry the fuel tanks externally on the uh, on the yeah, side. 72, the 80 and the 90. Yeah, really, they still do that. Well, it's a good idea. No, Mine's got it there. Hey, okay. Mine's got it. Oh, is it? Yeah, I don't know. That's happened. As well. I used to, I look at the tracks, but I, I don't really didn't realize what's actually are the tracks uh, covers. Sorry, the uh, tra track guards. So you can never see one with these missing. Then They've always got to have this on there. That's why I suppose they always lose that front and they always lose the sides, don't they? They never lose that top part. No, the top. Yeah, the top part is all your fuel tanks and storage, storage, <laughs> yeah, everything else. Well, that's cool. They do a T55 conversion. Oh, geez. That... 130 mil stonk tank. <laughs> wow. That is such a power on that. <laughs> put your <laughs> name all over that. Put it on and put it on the hole. That's got John's name all over there. Yep. That looks pretty good. So what do you mean? That resin gun shield looks mighty delicate. Yeah, it's probably thin. That is cool, though. Imagine that that when that fires, this tank must go everywhere. I think the the pressure that's going through this whole top. No, uh, not always it's only gonna be twenty-five mil steel. I was gonna say this isn't actually gonna be a strong area on the tank either, is it? It's it's not a no. direct hit. It's this is this is strong and thick. This is yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be in that that thing fires. You want to be very nice. far away. Nice bit of detail. Well, I think probably the safest person would be the driver. Oh, imagine them. the noise. You wouldn't want to be behind the gun, would you? No. <laughs> Just in case it goes wrong. The Naraki T55, 130 millimeter self propelled gun. $55 for that. That's quite a cool little. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool company. Baby artillery. Hey? Baby artillery. Yeah. Anyway, I was, I was looking for tracks, Paul, but yeah, I can't see any. And squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> has your uh, mate got any uh, Yag Panther ones? Oh, I bet he has. You reckon? I'll 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 I think it was his mate Dave on Ali G. Remember, hey Dave. 
Hello, Dave. Exactly. Oh, what are they? Hang on, I've got random prunes over here. I can't remember what they are. No, no young pancreas prunes in my pile. You wouldn't have, would you? Would you do German, really, do you? No, there's, there's the occasional weird thing in there that I bought accidentally at some point. They do a Voyager detail set for your kit, though, Paul. So that's that's always good to know, isn't it? Which one? For your uh, T55. Mm. No, hey, they're doing a Voyager detail set for a mini art kit. Oh, of course. They, oh, yeah, they'll do a detail set for that. But I, I don't think you read. What's that? Really reducing the detail level? Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're doing a Voyager Just in case you didn't think your mini art kit had enough parts. We need some more. The rain guys, you know, they say, oh, they've got blocked up again with it. Nasty stuff. Oi, right, ladies. Oh, no. oh, oh, it's that norm. Hello, bro. You're know, you know alive, don't you? I've just heard that, mate. Yeah, hi. Was polite when I came in. <laughs> uh, which mini art kit are you building, John? Uh, T54. Nice. A lot, a lot of parts in the mate. No, not really. Well, not for me. <laughs> what are you working on, Norm? That looks suspiciously T34 like. That's. One, two, two, because I dropped it and the parts went everywhere. So I'm just checking everything off to make sure I've got all the parts. Ah. It's one I bought off Paul, not last year, the year before, I believe, wasn't it? A while back. Yeah, it's a couple of years ago at least. Why I've got the engine that I've done and a lot of parts cut off, but I dropped the box and it opened up. Oh, no. So I spent about an hour and a half on the hands and knees picking up. With a little scoop, getting little stuff because our bed's one of them with the drawers underneath, and underneath it's only about what half an inch. So we'll spit those ink from under there. Oh, <laughs> what you're of them things. You use batteries. Uh, I wouldn't think they were getting under there, mate. You should have called that Al. He can walk under it. <laughs> you get your off. So you got your off. T55 Paul? Yeah, mate. Did you ever look at the box? Yeah. Heavy in it. Oh yes. <laughs> this is why my mini art reviews are rushed at a half an hour long. Chips. Well you never Did you ever look at the box? Mute. Yeah. Right. Uh, people keeping an eye on the chat, is no. no, where were we up to? Uh, show us Tim. Oh, no, Whiskey Tang, I've just got a question. Uh, Whiskey, oh, no, 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 we're not there. We're uh, Timber, that's where we're up to. Hi, everyone, Timber. Uh, Exile and JCS, hello, everyone. You've got to love this hobby in times like this. Yeah. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot asks, does anyone know what the pill-shaped thing 
next to the batteries behind the seat of a P51 he is. Pill? Is that the oxygen bottle? What colour should it be? Yellow? Yes. It's the oxygen bottle for the pilot, isn't it? Can't remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't tell yet. I thought so. Two seconds. Uh, do do do. No, just find him on his part, Bill. Oh no, no. Got a boot, mate. <laughs> One of many. Fair enough. Now. Got a pack we can read. Well, pictures. I've got pictures, mate. I love pictures. Tiny the pictures. I should have a park spread down the the cockpit in certain sections. I think it's an oxy bottle. I should have another one a walk around book somewhere else. I've got several next to me, I just can't bother looking. Uh, I found the other day, I forgot that. I'm sure it's an oxygen bowl. Somebody in the chat will do it. Joseph, Joseph Forrow says, Show us Tim. You got yeah, he's done it. He's done it. that one. Yeah. Eve says, Hello, all. Uh, nice looking tanks. Resonant photo edge. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Light says, They look well nice. Uh, Gary Pashley, Russian armor takes over ISM. It's a sharpy wet dream. <laughs> It's taken a while, but it's getting there. Yeah, no, no, sorry to disappoint. Hashtag brought up the fact again. Lee Eagle says hi, guys. Hello, Lee. Matt D, what's up, everyone, from a rainy, rainy space coast of Florida? Oh, man. Well, it's yours, yeah, sorry, yours is a G, isn't it, Paul? A panther? No, it's a Yak Panther. Yeah, what is it, a G? The, the only dead one, I think. Yeah, yeah, what, what hole is it based on? To, to say it's north. Or, Oh yeah, that's G one. Yeah, that's G. Yes, G G G one and then G two is in there. I think it was. Yeah, I think so. G. Okay. Hannah says good evening from UMP HQ, and yeah. she has a little help until eight p.m. tonight. That's right, she does. Uh, yeah. Brian. Hello, Hannah. Hey, Jane. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Brian Moran. All moms kids apart, but Charlie. <laughs> Brian Moran says Norm whiskey tank of Oxstock. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure it's the oxygen bottle for the pilot. Uh, You found on one. Yeah, it's a minute noise, is it? Oh, well. There you go. Yeah, I haven't seen for a while. Big Dave Eels. No. No. Yeah. Was he in? Just thinking about what I'm seeing for a while. Was he in on Sunday? Sunday gone. Uh, don't know, but I wasn't here. Just come into my head and see him for a good one. Well, you say what you like. Nobody can say I've underweathered this. No, it looks good though. <laughs> Weathered. Best weather. 
It is absolutely battered. Way to do it. I don't like tanks that aren't weathered heavily. Well, I like tanks, don't get me wrong, but... So you know, it's, it's um, objective, isn't it? Like that leopard do, that they, while they get dirty, they're kept clean. Mm. They're jet washed every time they go back in their motor pool. Every time. So you won't get much mud and crap all over them like that. But you'll, get, you'll, get in, or... you'll get ingrained dirt in the paint because obviously flat paint, it sticks in the end, doesn't it? It doesn't come off. <clears throat> yep, as those as all those people have put the uh, matte vinyl wraps on their cars are finding out. Yeah. Looks good until it rains, and then you can never get it clean again. I think tank crews were pretty thin with the tanks anyway. They like to keep them. Yeah, on a, on a, on a million. How much is a leopard worth compared to a T seventy two? An old T seventy two as well. well. I know an M one Abrams is four times the cost of a T ninety. Yeah, and the T nineteen exactly uh, cheap. Cheap is it? No. Did you see that one I posted up the other day, Tim? The ICM? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get the Tiger and the T34 together. That was another show last time. Ah. Uh, yeah, but I've got, it's got price now, which is good. Uh, you'll have those tracks next week, he's saying. How much? Um, back up. Okay. Questions. How much? Twenty-five posted. That's good. Isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. Ask together for me. <laughs> Actually, I enjoy building. I've always, I've always enjoyed building for us. You want something for the T fifty-five as well? I don't think the T fifty-five needs it, mate. Honestly. Things he wants to glue the tracks together or not. It's just a look at frills. You can't beat it once they're burnished. Yeah, yeah true. It's unbeatable. Cool. Not right now. Not right now. Uh, not going to build that straight away because it's a very similar tank, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ram is up to the bottles. Oh, go ahead, Tim. I was say, so I just see someone saying the Ryfields Jag Panther G2 doesn't. Hasn't got the interior, 32, 33, 33 quid. Not bad. Not at all. I've right. not even looked for the box of mine properly. Uh, I've got the recovery pan through. I've got to do one. You know what that case is? Orange flavoured. Oh, orange flavoured. Everyone, oh. wait. Orange flavoured. Yeah, yeah. Bread and butter pudding. Orange oh. flavoured. Oh. <laughs> Custard. Yeah. You're not going to like that. What a Hang on. It's orange and butter pudding. Hang on, orange flavored custard. No, no, no. Bread 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 is orange flavored bread and butter pudding. Yeah, yeah. it's got custard with it. Yeah, why would that orange flavored bread and butter pudding? Why not? He likes it anyway. What's wrong with bread and butter pudding flavor? Right. It's all about bread the bread. Bread and butter right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to take it to work. Yeah. Hey. Oh look, look what I get. What? I get what? these. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you're able to drive safer now, Tim. Yeah, that'll improve your modeling. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Lone Ranger. It, apparently, it's to put something else in. I wonder why it smelled funny. It's a budgie smuggler. <laughs> yeah, I can put me. Um, Looks like a gusset. You put. You put. Look, it goes through. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, uh, you get it. Uh, it's, it's a handbag for yeah. high women. No, it's a handbag for Al. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulder bag. I could take something, Norman. I was thinking something. Anyway, see you in a minute. See you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian Brown says oxygen bottles should be yellow, according to Google. Joseph Furrow says, wow, that's looking very nice, Paul. What a comeback to armor. Uh, I thought I'd rather the snot out the first one. RTW says, not sure which oxygen bottles you are referring to. The P51 oxygen bottles were behind the fuselage tank and should be visible in the model. They were on the, the earlier P51s, though, I believe. 
John Paul says hi all. Bonjour. Brian Moran saying there is a fire extinguisher beside the padded seat on the port side. That should be red. Oh, damn. Uh, Eric Graham says to Hannah, thanks for all you do. Yeah, working uh, yeah. off at the minute. Uh, and uh, we've had a whole load of sales as well. Oh, no, I've broken a bit off. No, I haven't. It throws me off. Uh, broke a bit. You wouldn't know if a Russian tank would you sometimes meant to be broke. <laughs> well, some of the tanks we've seen. Yeah. Which is. Uh, RT Dudu says he might be referring to the med kit, a canvas pouch behind the pilot's headrest. Possible. Yeah, possible. Paul, great weather. And Eric Graham says, Paul, great weather on that tank. Um, thank you, mate. And um, Brian Moran tells says to Tim that's an improvement. <laughs> Lee Barlow says, hello, all. I hope you're all well and safe. Hello, mate. Lee. Uh, no, 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 that wasn't, that wasn't hers. <laughs> That was Tin's man, man bag. Yeah. Uh, George P says, cheers, guys. Question, building my first armour and doing the time of Churchill Mark 7 Ooh. with the rubber tracks, does the rubber need to be primed as well? Yes. 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 Definitely. Don't, don't use a lacquer primer. Use something flexible. Mm. Preferably one of polyurethane. Uh, UMP. UMP, Badger, Vallejo, if you really, really have to, but you'll find Vallejo will peel off in a heartbeat. If you use a like a, a sort of a acidic primer, it'll actually melt the plastic. Yeah, and lacquer will just go brittle and come off. Yeah. Gary Posh this year's this year's no favour. Tim's year's no favour. Bless him. Bless him. Let's chat call it work. Right. Where did that baby poop yellow go? Baby poop yellow. Oh, I've moved my tracks now. I'm gonna be weathering. Damn it. Oh no. There we go. Curse of movable tracks. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn you things. I can glue them on now, actually. What, side skirts? Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, you'll not need to hit them off anymore. How do I glue them? There. There. At the back. <laughs> Do I paint the Panther or do I finish building the King George? Panther. Hang on, you say Panther? Yeah. Feeling all right? Yeah. Oh, Panther. Oh, yeah, you saw the Panther a few weeks back, didn't you, John? Yeah. That one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Using hobbies. Using hobbies, that's correct. Oh, uh, yeah, I do remember that. The, the one I waged the Ag Panther gun on, too. I yeah. remember. <laughs> Panther with decent firepower. Yeah. Anyway, how you been, John? You've been missed, mate. Yeah. Um, Is he? Considering it's supposed to be like a part-time job. Yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't start working at the possibly the worst time ever. <laughs> yeah, you know, not exactly by choice, but you know, it's typical of me, really, isn't it? Everyone else gets to like what work. I've been off work for months, and I had to start. Um, <laughs> hey, hey. Are, you, are you enjoying it, though? Yeah, I'm enjoying the job. It's, there you go. Is it low responsibility? Um, it's kind of, it's, it's going to be higher responsibility overall, but... Less stress? Less stress, because it's a much smaller store. Mm. Um, basically, I'm going to become the... Evening manager, so cool. There we go. And we can put the MG on now as well. Hopefully, once all this calms down and sorts itself out, mm. the hours may drop a little. And I'll also get to the point where I'm like, you know, fit enough to do without it killing me. <laughs> Going from sitting on your butt doing sod all for nine months. Yeah, but it was enjoyable. You got sitting on your feet for eight, nine hours a day. You got to admit, John, it was enjoyable sitting on your butt. I know one thing, I can't have a shower before I did all these pigments. It's well worth doing that. <laughs> Put clean clothes on. And getting covered. Yeah. That, I can't have the back arts on the Let's see, was it hanging up Tim's chair there? What's it doing? 
I don't know. It's on the must be on the window. It must be a windowsill. Or no, there isn't a windowsill there. It's, it's a French door. So uh, there's, a, there's a cat. Uh, no, must be, there must be a windowsill. That's hard. I didn't know that. Ah, uh, there you go. Just seen a cat crawl around yeah. the chair. I thought, well, where that's come from. Oh, and this, this will be the time isn't it? Tim gets robbed, and we're just sat here watching. <laughs> 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 or Emily comes wandering across and starts dancing. Yeah. I got a brass colour now. Oh no. Or copper. Need to paint the rounds on that MG. Where have we got? Let's have a little look. This is the thing now, John. I've got no arm stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm about to do this on like just random stuff I had. And uh yeah. Are, are, are your pigments um, pigments oh, yeah. in the way that the polishes were polishes? The, the, these are, in fact, yes, pigments, as you said. <laughs> these have been planned. Uh, spoiler alert, these have been planned for a long time, so keep an eye out of the next one. I know they yeah, are I, I know they were on, no, in the pipeline as such, but... Yeah. Well, if you continue with modelling, John... And you fancy oh, yeah, show I should be. And you fancy showcasing some? Yeah, no problem. I'll, uh, I'll send you a set to test and give us feedback. Yeah, I'll, I'll cover some stuff with Muck and Gunk and do some comparisons and see you. To the finest quality pigments you'll get. Yeah, well, so I've got Mig. Mig, the Mig, Mig productions are all right. Yeah, Leo. Leo. Leo is never a fan of. No, it's Vallejo. Why? MK. Who? MK weathering pigments uh, look like they're Polish. No idea. Oh, that was is it military military smith? Yeah, I got them from um, Cannons when I was in there one time. Okay. This is like one of those where you see that brand and you see the ones you want and you can't actually see the ones you do want of the other brands. Yeah, uh, you'll be hard, you'll, you'll be hard pressed to beat the quality of these things. These are amazing. Yeah. Well, now I'll happily give them a try for you. Cool. It only cost you twenty five quid, John. Yeah. There's no freebies in this group. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's, he's a high subscriber on YouTube. Oh, well, that's it. Oh, well, you've got oh, to yeah, get I'm, I'm an influencer now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't be long till I get that uh, monster sponsorship. <laughs> I heard Sam giggling away in the background there. <laughs> yeah. I put it, put it in the way and then spot somewhere else where I stick some pigments. Oh, Emily's just gone past. Give the S one shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Tim's left the camera on. What was that, Sam? I'm trying to give him this much. He's a cracking modeler, is John. Is All right, Sam. There's no need to go over the top, mate. Come on. You're a hell of a good modeler. We already sang his praise. Come on, Sam. Just pushing it a bit, mate. Right. Uh, um. I'm, I'm average with poor photography skills, so it looks better. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a lot more average than me, Sharpie. Oh, it looks like we're in for a right old thunderstorm here shortly. Um, yeah, we had it here a couple of hours ago. Oh, it's dark as hell, yeah, now. It's, you can hear a rumble in the background further down the coast. Oh, sorry, Norman, that's me. Oh, sorry, Sam, yeah. There you go, Norm. <laughs> oh, the floaty oh, thing. Is that, is that all you're building? Oh, you big tart. Oh, oh, I need to go with 1350. Yeah, that's what I thought you were building. No, 1700. Oh, John. 
Now, I'm not going to go get like one of the monster ones just to throw a hundred quid kit out the window. Uh, <laughs> just <laughs> to run, he? Um, I'm the one that throws kits out the window. You have yeah, to yeah. yeah, no, I'll, I'll 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 right. pond. yeah, but Sam, I'll have the pond just outside the window. Oh, so well, there you go. Yeah, float in there. Look right. I have about 20 foot yeah. drop, so you know, it's a disaster zone down there. It's not going to float. <laughs> Uh, game tell Sam that's your that's your beef that one. Anyway, you, oh, yours is that. How about John? If it comes down to it, we're already prepared. Yes, there you go. You got your personalised hammer. This will fix that it. Is my personalised hammer, yes. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, John. You sacked. Joseph Forrest is pigment. Ooh, excited. Yes, very Andrew very. is. Hi, everyone. How's you all doing? Oh, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Oh. Yeah, the pigments are beautiful. I wouldn't expect that. In the feed. Okay, let's do a refresh. Yeah, it's just constantly buffering. Yeah, because all the pictures are good. He's on. All right, that says we're still on there. Even now. Oh, Hold up. We're well, going again now. So. Yeah, up and running again. Right, it must have been uh, this playing up then. Must have been the old uh, 8x8. We're back. Hello. Woo. Yeah, it must have been this, what we're using playing up. Strange, isn't it? Yes, it can. handle it. Can't handle how awesome John is. Yeah. Must be. Can't handle John's awesomeness. Well, I'm going to run a bit of uh, pencil over some of the tracks. Uh, that's my tag done. Nice. Let's go there for dry. I'll get some pics of it in the morning. Well, I ordered that Audi R8 plus a full detail upset as well. Oh, you got the detail upset? Yeah. Nice. It's worth getting, mate. It's quite a uh, complex one by the look of it. It's like quite a comprehensive detail. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Comprehensive, not complex. Yeah, it looks like there's uh, carbon in there and all sorts. Yeah. Well, that's on We. Oh, damn you. I, one of the way to me from your good self, Paul, from UMP Retail. Oh, I told you that. You shell forced everyone to buy stock now. Oh, no. Oh, Damn you. Me, my oh, oh, man. God's sake. Come on, Tony. I should have known, you, known better. You've not even got a YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, an actual fact. Really? Yeah, Norman, go find it. Oh, we know what it is, don't we? Right, so, you know, we're it. back. Uh, Rob says, Yay! Hello, Rob. Hope you're keeping well, mate. We've not seen you for a while. Andy's there saying, Hi, everyone. Paul, when do you, do you know when the 120 Gloss were primary back in stock? We're, we're waiting on an order from the USA. So, as soon as we get it, <laughs> we're well, happy. Matt D says, Gents, must have the wrong hangout. Yeah. Uh, Nervous 2, good for polishing kit glass on cards. Very good, mate. So it's designed yeah. for, for polishing uh, polycarbonate aircraft canopies, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. With its original mm -hmm. use. It's very yeah, good. It works superb on glass, on cars. Right, I ain't putting any more pigments on now. This is going away, and I'm tired. Because you know, my bench is filthy. Walk away from it. Yeah, we are done. The only thing about weathering is no when to stop. Oh, this is well and truly overweathered. I don't get I don't care. Much my tank, I'll do it as much as I want. Yep. Cooking care of this. Ding dang do. Right, Couldn't be any worse than those scary ones you were looking at the other day. Yep. Hang on, the what? The Syrian tanks were oh. like I said something else then. No.
Yep, I'm covered in pigments. Covered in <laughs> piss. <laughs> Still remember about the minister. Nah. That was funny out there. He even laughed. Um, Lord so thank you to be sure. You had a problem, bud. Rob says, worse than killing him. He has a P-51 wing kit. Tooling and flat patterns all the sheet metal parts. And you start building four weeks. Nice. Yeah. But keep you busy. I wouldn't make a break. Fucking yeah, mate. Oh, I just wear No, how good you wipe it down? You really don't press something at the pigments. That'd be very good. You ever used pigments, though? I have, mate. I have. I don't know if you ever got that for. Well, yes. <laughs> I, I used them on this, didn't I? I don't know. I might need some light, actually. Might work with some light. Woo! <laughs> I was waiting on Martin to comment. No, he hasn't. Hey, I was waiting on Martin to comment there. You know, no, he hasn't. Oh yes, he has. Yeah, uh, yes, it's a big one on that one. But... All right, okay, cool. Excellent. Well, kiss. Hang on, let me put the camera on you. Cool. I miss it's more regular than that. Right. Don't the camera doesn't pick it up, but you, well, it's normally there. Uh, it's hard to see in it. In the camera, yeah. you see it is. It looks good. A great one's finished. Yeah, we'll do in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. The other parts are in there. It's not actually finished, actually. I know. So I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tony, Tony piped up being snidey. I heard that. What? He went, yeah. <laughs> we all heard you, didn't we, Norm? Yeah. Snide. Yeah, he's sure. Put his name in the book. No, mate. It's just when I do finish one, I've got lower my standards to better his. Oh. Is, you're building armor there, at least. Tony's got no excuse for making cars that look, look like they've been through First World War. <laughs> oh, 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 that was close. Oh, that was close. Damn. Is that the heat coming off that one over here? Oh, Eric, I started using paper before, mate. Oh, yeah, that went out the window. Goes everywhere, regardless. Yeah, I did have something under there, but multiple flickings of pigments and washes. It's everywhere. Of 
quite happy that that looks alright. Oh, don't like that there. Let's get rid of that. When it dries, you let the photograph it in your new and improved photograph. Oh, I don't want to because it'll get pigment everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I have, yep. some, I have to put some under it. You haven't used any flocking on it, have you? No, pigment's worse. Two kids, no sleeps in there. Oh, look. Hey, Scott. Hey, uh, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Oh. Hello, Dan. Hello. Hello, John. So, which, which tanks did you buy, Sam? Uh... Two pounds, of, two pounds of twos, a Tiger one, and a Fourier scale Abrams. Only because right. he'll, he'll never remember his boat. Uh, no. And an Audi R8. And a Porsche 959. Where'd you buy that from, Sam? And a Porsche Panamera. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Did yeah. you buy that 959 I gave you a link to? I, well, there was only three of them, right? Yeah. Only one. <laughs> I bought it the same time as you. Oh, cool. How much are they? 15. It wasn't bad. Very, very simple old kid. I, I built that in an old house about, oh, God, how long that's going to be? 17 years ago. Somebody vaping? Well, it ain't me. Dan. Dan. <laughs> Dan. Where is he? It's not me. Don't vape, sir. Oh, I can't just tell you. Uh, Gary. Ah, uh, yeah. It's going to be me. I don't even vape. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. you do. You're, you're, you're the phantom vapor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was Norman, actually. Yeah. I didn't know how much. Yeah. It's all quiet. Like... Oh, oh, I'm it's a clear admission of guilt when you defend yourself. Yeah, I was muted. Yeah, no, you will. As Rob says in the chat, uh, Sam Bot and Abrams. Yeah, M1A was M1A. Hang on, what's the code of the Abrams? M1A1. Yeah, M1A1. Abrams. 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 I ain't got a clue what's called. Make a note of what tank Sam has bought ready for the next models for here was open. Sam, you're live. Thank you, though, so, Sam. Sam, at least you build them. Yeah, Ooh. well, yeah. Yeah. Right. You might throw them out the window. Yeah. You do we never see what Gary builds. Yeah, we don't really even see Gary. Gary. Don't even see Gary. Huh? Sam was counting the two there. He's, he, he really needs four tanks he brought, not two. One, one and three quarters. One and three quarters, yeah. You strike me, Paisley. <laughs> Actually, one of the ones I got sitting here was an ex ex Sam tank, I think. I bought from one of the auctions. Really? Yeah. Dragon MBT seventy. I swear that came from Sam. Probably did. A lot of crap always does. Well, I always get the blame for things, so and I never do. <laughs> Yeah. Scott says you're going to do a rally tank, Sam. <laughs> rally tank? There's no idea. Yeah. Yeah, the old Martini stripes down the side. Yep. Like your one, remember the Ferrari you did? <laughs> yeah. That'll upset people. It did. It's 26 years for Roland Ratzenberger today, isn't it? Like you said, yeah. Matt, then. Hey. What did you say, Roland Ratzenberger? No, Roland Ratzenberger. Uh, it's, it'll be 26 for the great man himself tomorrow. That's right. The one and only who will never be. We'll see, never see a guy like that in our lifetime. 
Well, 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 I was trying to put a little thing up for Roland because he was get forgetting the boat. Forgot one about. Hmm. That's not really the case, on it. Back in the era when Formula One drivers actually drove the car. Yeah. No, no electronic aids, no of this, that, no other gear shifts. Come up with big blisters on the hands. And their backsides when the uh, wiring harness caught fire under the seat. Oh, yeah. And the fuel actually leaked in the seat as well, didn't it? Because Mansell yeah. got serious burns in was it Canada. So did um, Berger got bad burns when he crashed. Mm. As did uh, Jordan Driver when they're in the pits to refuel. And the rig went up. Burns clear, so you don't know. Mm. But... Quite a few exceptional young drivers killed. Yeah. Nature of the sport, you know. I was watching some of those drag racing crashes. God. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Frightening those things. When you're playing with that much horsepower. Yep. 3,000 horsepower plus. Yeah, it doesn't take much to go awry before. Uh... Yeah. You're going to your ride. You're getting a ride straight to the hospital. Mike's in chat. Evening, folks. You are, hope you're all well and safe. Get yourself in here, Mike. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on, Mike. Chazard says, Evening, all. Nice to see you doing the new, new kids, Paul. <laughs> yes, mate. Yes, yes, yes. We'll get more mm -hmm. as we can. We'll get more as we can. Yep. Wait, but that be Paul. UMPRetail.com, myself and Lave invested a lot in the business over the past few weeks. Loads of new stock. Must have done about 10 Tammy orders in the last two, three weeks. Wow. Easily. Poor Hannah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Um, house, house looks like a storage unit at the minute. Fact, we've, got to, we've got to go there tomorrow, the surgery, and take some stuff. Take all the doubles of kits. Nice. Oh, man. We currently have 47 people watching and 33 likes. Oh, we can boost that up. To oh, oh, man. Oh. Could add at least another 10 to that. Very nearly swore there. <laughs> What's up, you, Sam? I was oh, like, very near. He's my like you. Will I get? Will I get the fine book? What stop you, Sam? Hmm. I've turned over a new leaf. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing for? Yeah. It's That's like saying, I found the Lord. It's all like choir practice in the sermon on Sundays, isn't it? Sunday school you go to as well, isn't it? Anybody want to buy a load of car kits? <laughs> 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 I think I'm joking. <laughs> well, you've got to make room for the tank kits. At least for the tank kits, you can make a ball zone and still look all right. Well, I guess crap. Spring Blue Addict says Tim's looking cherry today. Uh -huh. He's actually being announced that he's the new James Bond, and that's one of M's secret weapons. That's well, terrible. Tim chair. Yeah. Terrible. It's a Tim chair. Buy us something. 
No. Tim will never, Tim will never be Bond. Bond will never be Ginger. I don't know. I don't know, Sharby. It could happen. They asked me, but I said, look, I'm too busy. I've got UMP on a Friday night. Yeah. Oh, too attractive as well. Uh, good thing my camera's off. Yeah, it's just as well. Oh, thanks, Tom. No worries. Sam was going to be the new Blofeld. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> think about it. Think about it, boys. Yeah. <laughs> we all live, remember. Especially you, Norman. <laughs> all right, Sam would make a really good villain. Don't push your luck now. Yeah, villain, definitely. <laughs> You boys have got a bad thought about me. Yeah. Could you actually see Sam stroking the cat? I'd be eating the cat. What else is that? Dip it in batter and away we go. Hey, oh, I shall mute while I'm here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where's my glasses, quick? Uh, ah, no, no. I should. Oh, we've got our first thumbs down, apparently. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, that took a long while. Thank, I'd like to say thank you to Jesus, uh, yeah. Mum, <laughs> the cat. <laughs> uh, okay. Next door neighbor's dog that likes to bark now and again. Yes, yeah. sandwiches as well. I'd like to thank sandwiches. I like sandwiches. I thought you were going to say me. No. No. I heard that, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your chair never moved once, mate. We we're looking after it. Even the chaps. Oh, hey, Al. Al. Oh, well, 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 alive, Al. Well, alive. You probably know. That's it, yeah. before, man. Ah. Tom, I can't see him. Hello. All right. Hold on. Yeah, I turn it off. We're going to be incriminating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing this American. Uh, I'm doing this Americans, but. He always does. Helps out the need be. Yeah. He's a very nice man. Very naughty boy. He changes his neck coming out. <coughs> now go away. Do you know what? I was, I, there's a wing nuts kit. I've been looking at sort of trying trying to get up my hands on. Okay. Being a bit sensible, okay. just trying to hold out and wait out for it. Okay. And I, I spotted one up there. It's now it's been up there two hours. And it's already at two hundred and fifty five pounds. And it's usually a two hundred and twenty pound kit. Uh, I don't think you'll be getting it then. Uh, I'm not getting that one. No, I'm getting that one. Oh well. Crazy. Yeah, well, Tim with a bit of like airfix or he release one in one seventy two. But exactly, that's, that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> The world's gone nuts. Oh, most definitely. Ah. Something I need to check. Do, 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 do. Well, that's a rubbish. Do, do. Reading there about another online business, nothing to do with modeling at all, saying that it's a valeting company that sell uh, car detail and products. Mm -hmm. I said since the lockdown, their online sales have gone crazy, which everybody has across the board. 
but we've not had a day since lockdown where we have dispatched less than 800 orders a day. No what? way in Hello. this world are they dispatching that many in a day. A, you would need so many staff to process those, which you couldn't do social distancing. I'll, I'll say there's one extra zero added there. There is no courier van that would take that many parcels. We get looked at funny when we give them 60. 800's got to be a typo. Yeah, I'd say that's more likely 80 orders a day. 80 with a couple of staff is possible. Yeah. Absolutely. You have to have everything boxed and ready to go. And you'd never do it. It takes so long. Hannah, on average, gets between 20 and 30 a day out. And that's work. And today she worked nine till half four, I think it was. And she's back out there now. And once James goes to bed, she'll be out there till half ten. So, absolute load of rubbish. 800. It's got to be 800 on a typo, isn't it? Hey, yeah. Jim. Hello, Hello, Jim. We're live, just so you know. Yeah, none of the usual swear on the lot. Yeah, chuck yeah. the language that comes out of Jim. Yeah. <laughs> sure, <laughs> Bill. Even I'll learn some new swear words from Jim. <laughs> what, whatever Tony just said. He said, I learned some new oh, swear No, I, heard, I was joking. I said, even I'll. Oh. There you go, John. There's a bigger ship for you. Oh, what are you got? Are you trying to screen share, Norm? Because nothing's showing. I can see it. Well, and Jim's. Yeah. Jim's, yeah. Oh, Jim's oh. got it. Oh, yeah. I was screwing oh. Couldn't see it, really. Yeah. Oh, you see, I was looking at Norm's screen. That's where I was going wrong. Oh, well, that's where you're going wrong, mate. Uh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was out like Ryan. Line. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, that's all we need now, Norm. Uh oh. <laughs> Very big and floaty, Jim. Martin's in chat saying, evening, guys. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Hey, Google PA 101. Bye -bye. Dynamo. No, which kit is it? Can I want a lip read? 148 accurate miniatures. Look. Was I buy a right version? Not now. Maybe... <gasps> I can wait till I get more back. Ha! <laughs> That's hilarious. Can't say now because we'll have a say when we go up there. <laughs> uh, so. The video is a, a, Rus a Russian couple playing rock, paper, scissors whilst making a pizza. Ah, yep. But they've uh, <laughs> they've uh, they've put all the ingredients on like a towel and then a pillow. So they put flour, flour down first. Whoever lost get their face in the flour. Then they put down some uh, some like uh, cream cheese stuff. And then some some like ketchup and then an egg and. Yeah, they're now wearing it. It's quite funny. Whatever floats your boot. Hey. And whatever floats your boat. Hey. Right. Hey. Oh, that one right here floated. Well, I'll, I'll floated. translate that. That's whatever floats your boat. Hey. I didn't really hit you. John Martin says you can build the gator if you want, John. Oh, He's got the 72nd scale gator class one. The marine. Oh, yeah, no thanks, Martin. Gas, gas, the gatto. Yeah. Oh, I like a gatto. I'd rather eat a gatto than build a gatto. I love a gatto. And he says, evening fester. Oh, uh oh, Jim's making a mess. Oh, Jim, what are you doing? Oh, oh I see a seashore on the seashore. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. How much wood would a wood chuck up? The wood chuck up the wood. That made your uh, camera go nuts then. Yeah, it did. Don't do that. It's it's that. I heard it screaming. It's an improvement, though, you know. Put it over his face, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like the camera's sat behind a Venetian blind. Yeah. How do you make a Venetian blind? Poke him in the eyes. 
Better? Unfortunately, yes, Norm, but I wasn't setting that one up for you. <laughs> okay, now to water lighting. How's you then, Al? Not bad, mate, yourself. All right, mate. Good, which, good, good. Which particular item are you working on tonight? I'm working on the intakes for the Prowler. Oh, nice. Is that any good? A decent kit, or...? Um, well, put it like this. The fact that it hasn't been set on fire yet <laughs> is remarkable. So it's a slight improvement from kinetic, then. <laughs> now I'm uh, looking at the uh, kitty hawk. Light. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he hasn't got round to the canopy yet. No, it's in four bits. Oh, not good. It, it's one of these split down the middle things. Mm. And the fuselage doesn't go together very well. But. If anybody can do it, all you can. <laughs> Yeah. Not that you complain much about building stuff like that. You, you really love it, really. Uh, yeah, Al, Al hates it when the kit fits together. Yeah, he, he, oh, you want to hear him. Oh, oh the, the suffering. Damn, that went the together well. The language it can do his mouth if the kit fits well. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah I sometimes say, oh, do you need like it? I have to Google half the words. It's, you know, oof. I was going to say poor kit. What did they do wrong, eh? <laughs> it exists. <laughs> it found its way into Wells' stash. I saw it wrong. Wait, are you sleeping? Yeah. No, she's not sleeping. Mike said he would love to join you, but he's not long in from work. Roll on next week when he's got a week's holiday. Martin, is it raining up where you are at the moment? Uh, Andrews is asking, he's, he's popping down the shops if we want anything. Cornetto. Cornetto, mate, for Paul. Uh, anybody else? Uh, 30 grams of gold leaf. Yeah. I'll have the contents of the till. <laughs> now, I can get that any day. Yeah, but I want the till as well. <laughs> I can be uh, all like these modern tills. <laughs> Norma, that could be Pardon? a range. What was that, Sam? That could be a range, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do you want anything from uh, Andrews has gone to the shop, mate? He's asking if you want anything. Uh, I was going to say Cornetto, but, you know, Paul took it. So. You got plenty of coke and crisps. Oh, mountains of it. Mountains of it. I'll take a couple of packets of crisps. You want a couple? I'll send you a couple over. Yeah, a couple of packets. Only got a few packets left, mind you. <laughs> yeah, when you say packets, Sam, um, do you mean box? boxes? Boxes. Sam just has a lorry pull up in the driveway at the guy in the house and just unloads. I'm going to go with her, please. <laughs> <laughs> No, it, no, it's, it's not a lorry pulling up, it's a lorry dropping off a container. 
touch the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me, I know nothing about it. Oh, that's nice. How long have we been on for? Let's have a look. Hour and a half. Well, I think we'll call it a night because we've been on for a while. Now I want to have a chat with these guys. Um, let's have a look watch. Everyone joined in. We'll be on tomorrow night for the live show. We're going to start at 7 tomorrow and try 7. Because um, hopefully we can stick at that time then. Sounds good. Fingers crossed. So 7 o'clock tomorrow night, live show. We'll catch you all then. Thanks, everyone, who's joined. Everyone's coming to the chat and taking part. Wait. We'll catch you all next time. Don't forget to clap at 8 o'clock as well in two minutes. Yeah. Yep. See you all later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.